Hey, fly tires, we got an egg for you. Don't get mad, it's a good fly. <laughs> this is the new keg. It's an awesome little egg pattern if, if that fits your fancy, if you're not opposed to fishing eggs, which in some situations, that's what fish are eating. So go ahead and fish them, don't feel bad about it. Uh, it's a nice little fly. It's a little bit of an enhanced fly over just a simple egg because it does have that veil on it. Sort of gives it that translucent outer coating that you might see on the naturals. So go ahead and get this going. We have our finished variation in the vise here. A nice nuke egg. Starting out with our hook, this is the TMCO Competition Nymph. It's a, it's the U625BN BL, so a black nickel barbless hook. It's got that nice straight eye on there, an extra wide gape to it. It's got a, a decent wire to it as well. Um, really great hook just overall, one of my favorites. And then I'm using our GSP 100 from Vivas. And we'll start that right on the hook shank here, right about that midpoint. Getting some locking wraps down on it before we clip out our tag and go into the first material. And that's the yarn. So I'm using the McFly foam and I have the Flow Glow Flame color. It's a great little color. It's really bright, flashy. It's a, a nice color for this nuke egg. And I'm gonna take one full hank and stretch it out just a little bit there. Helps to get it nice and springy and it'll fill out real nice when you go to, to trim it. And we can tie it in right on the hook. And I like to pinch it right on either side so that as I go around, I'm trying to trap material really on all 360 degrees of this hook shank if possible. So we'll add in a few locking wraps and then I'm gonna pull that material rearward and sneak my GSP right up in front of it there. And then we can take that yarn, pull it straight up, and trim it. And this is where you want to decide how big you want your egg to be. So depending on where you trim it, that's gonna end up being the radius of your egg because it's gonna spring down and fill the bottom as well. So on the smaller side, and if you wanna if you wanna start small, you can always trim more. But what I like to do is I'll angle my scissors up, start to cut, and then switch and angle my scissors down as I go around, trying to get a nice round profile here. And then we can pull that material downward and get it to fill out all the way around. I do find that you'll get some sort of long fibers on the bottom half of these when you're tying these. And the quicker you trim it, the more round of a, of a fly you end up with. I sort of was hesitant on that one. But we can clean it up a little bit. And on this bug, we're gonna add another material, so it doesn't have to be nice and round as you might make it if this was your entire fly. You can finish right there, take this out, fish it, catch a lot of fish. But we're gonna add uh, an extra layer that sort of enhances it. And so I'm done obsessing over trimming here. And that's our egg veil. So again, just adds a really cool look to this fly. This is the McVail from McFlylon. And I'm gonna take one hank and I'm just gonna trim it to about a half inch or so to an inch maybe in length there. That's how much material I'm gonna be using to tie in. Probably can't see all of it, but basically I'm gonna feather it out a little bit and sort of try and get it to be nice and even throughout. And you can clip out extra or remove what you need. Then what I like to do is just smash it right against the side of the hook come up and around and capture that. And then as I go, I'm just gonna pull it backward around that egg and then sneak in front of it 
and add a couple of locking wraps. And that has that material nice and secured in there, fully encompassing that egg. We can come in and pull it all rearward. I like to sort of spin it to a point as I do that and then clip it just past that hook. And then you brush it out a little bit with your fingers. Pull out some of those rogue strands and give the fly a whip finish. This can be a very, very productive fly. This is where I got the idea for the UV veil egg. If you've seen that video from us in the past, it's a good one to check out too. We use UV instead of the McFly foam but the McFly phone is definitely a go-to material whenever you're building eggs for your box. If you're targeting fish that are feeding on eggs, this is a good way to catch them. The new cake. Just refine it a little bit there. There we go. So that is our new keg. It's a great little fly, one that you won't regret fishing. If you put it on, you can catch a lot of fish on this fly. So hope you have fun tying it. Let us know if you have any questions about it or show us your variations too. Maybe a chartreuse or whatever you, you feel like tying. Be curious to see what you're after at the vise there. Um, if you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate you watching. Subscribe to the channel so that you can see more Tying Tuesday videos week after week. And then check out the description for the list of materials that we used on this pattern. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.